the story of cholesterol is both a wonderful and a terrible one wonderful because an understanding of cholesterol and the lipid transportation system gives us an idea of how elegant and sophisticated and evolved our bodies are but terrible because we have misunderstood it and blamed it blamed the cholesterol for heart disease and this has happened over the last 50 years for more than 50 years we have been focusing on the wrong culprit for heart disease initially it was said that if you eat food rich in cholesterol it will accumulate in the coronary arteries and it will cause heart disease but later on studies showed that the dietary cholesterol is not related to the blood cholesterol and blood cholesterol is not related to heart disease then the narrative changed and it was ldl which was blamed now recent studies are showing that even ldl does not correlate with heart disease because patients who get admitted with heart attacks and have heart disease have no relation to the blood levels of cholesterol or ldl many patients who have heart disease have normal cholesterol and normal ldls so who is the real culprit let us try and find out in this episode cholesterol is not a demon or a monster it is an integral part of each and every cell of our body in fact there can be no life without cholesterol if you do not know the truth about cholesterol then all your efforts to live a healthy and prolonged life will be in failure so keep watching to find out why welcome to my youtube channel the healthy drive this channel is all about your health today we are going to discuss about cholesterol why is it that the moment we utter the word cholesterol there is a fierce psychosis that is built into it why is it that the moment you utter the word cholesterol heart disease is associated with it is it really true that high cholesterol causes heart disease evolution is not stupid as i always say that nothing in biology makes sense unless seen in the light of evolution millions of years of evolution has made each and every cell of our body contain cholesterol in fact cholesterol is an integral part of 40 trillion cells that are present in the body there must be a reason why they are there in fact if you have a look at the structure of cholesterol it is quite a complex structure of hydrocarbons and a 3d structure looks like this cholesterol is actually a waxy substance which is produced in the liver yes the liver is the main factor in the body which makes cholesterol so cholesterol is actually so important to each and every cell of the body that each cell manufactures its own cholesterol but other than that liver is the main factory in the body which makes cholesterol and body has a very complex and a beautiful structure or a transportation system of cholesterol which needs to be understood so if you have a look at the structure of cholesterol it is a complex hydrocarbon structure which is quite expensive to make for the human body and the 3d structure looks like this and uh, the cell membranes which wrap around and protect the inner contents of all cells must contain cholesterol in order to function properly cholesterol contributes firmness to membranes and keeps them from falling apart in fact our cells are not a 2d circle as we see in biology books but a 3d balloon like molecules and the integrity of the molecule the integrity of the balloon and uh, is maintained by cholesterol so the cholesterol makes the cell malleable and allows it to mix with other cell allows fluids to pass through allows uh, molecules to pass through so that just just imagine a structure which is made of millions of small small balloons so that is what each cell is made up of and each cell membrane contains cholesterol which is embedded into it critical body components which help us to function and be alive are made from cholesterol vitamin d which i told you about last time is manufactured in the skin from cholesterol by the sunlight which is essential not only for the skin health but also for bone health our sex hormones like testosterone estrogen progesterone are manufactured from cholesterol the bile salts which help 
us in the digestion of uh, fat is also dependent on cholesterol for its production aldosterone which regulates our salts and minerals is also dependent on cholesterol and most importantly the nerve cells and the brain cells the brain synapses also need cholesterol in fact the brain is one organ in the body which doesn't even depend on the liver to manufacture and send the cholesterol to it it manufactures its own cholesterol not only the brain cells the myelin sheath surrounding the nerve cell also has cholesterol in it and is dependent on cholesterol for its function cholesterol is an integral part of the immune system of the body they are our soldiers which fight the invaders whether it is a virus or a bacteria it is the cholesterol which is sent as a force to stop the infection to repair the damage so cholesterol is vital there is only one problem with cholesterol it is not water soluble so since it is not water soluble it does not dissolve in the blood and cannot be transported like sugar can be done so nature has evolved and designed a complex system of transporting this cholesterol molecules to the peripheral cells where it is needed for energy so this energy system or rather this energy distribution system is done by components known as lipoproteins what are lipoproteins these are proteins now proteins are soluble in blood so what happens the cholesterol molecule is put on the these proteins consider lipoprotein as a boat where the lipid or the cholesterol is inside so this is carried to the rest of the body and the uh, lipoprotein delivers the lipid or the fat to the cells which need it and then comes back so let's try and understand these molecules the triglyceride the lipoproteins so that we can understand how this elegant transportation of uh, cholesterol takes place let's try and understand a triglyceride first this is also another pivotal molecule that travels with cholesterol inside the lipoprotein particles as i told you a triglyceride molecule is simply three fat molecules grouped into one glycerol or sugar like molecule these triglyceride molecules can be consumed through fat containing food they can also be created in your liver your body assembles disassembles and transport triglyceride to fuel your body as needed when you accumulate fat in the liver it is usually because of the excess of refined carbohydrates that we eat in the diet if you eat fat that is saturated fat it directly goes to the fat of the body through another system and which is absorbed by chylomicrons which we will discuss later this is a lipoprotein particle basically the cholesterol and triglyceride molecules are packed safely inside the lipoprotein cell as you can see here they are safely stored for delivery to the brain and bodily tissues think of lipoprotein like boats with the cargo safely battered down in the hold These lipoprotein boats can move freely throughout your bloodstream while keeping the water insoluble cargo tucked inside. They travel actually in millions of numbers on the delivery and collection missions. These boat need to clearly identify themselves in order to dock properly into different harbors. So they do this by signaling with a unique protein molecule which is wrapped around the outer shell as i told you which is known as a apolipoprotein we will go into the details of apolipoproteins later but let us try and understand the lipoproteins first if you have a look at this picture uh, you will see that uh, the biggest lipoprotein is the chylomicron although it is not known as a lipoprotein it actually is a lipoprotein which manufactured in the gut and which helps in the digestion of fat and takes it directly to the fatty stores of the body what is manufactured by the liver is the vldl which is very low density lipoprotein then the idl and the ldl what happens is vldl contains a lot of triglycerides and cholesterol and once it delivers triglycerides to the tissue cells it loses some of its uh, integrity it loses some of its size and becomes the intermediate density lipoprotein which then after losing some of its uh, uh, fatty uh, components to tissues then becomes the ldl hdl is a separate class of lipoprotein so we'll keep it aside for the time being 
so this is what actually uh, is the family of lipoproteins which is known as the ldl class of lipoproteins which is the vldl the idl and the ldl vldl is once again very low density lipoprotein idl is intermediate density lipoprotein and ldl is low density lipoprotein now this vldl after shedding its cargo becomes idl which is intermediate density lipoprotein and then it becomes the ldl or the low density lipoprotein which is the much feared lipoprotein let us try and understand this so if you have a look at this picture you will find that the liver actually manufactures and sends out vldl which is a bit large in size which then converts into idl then converts into ldl and this ldl is then supposed to be taken back by the liver by a presence of ldl receptors so this is actually the cycle of the lipoproteins in the next picture you can see what can go wrong with the ldl molecules when they are delivered to the tissues if for some reason this ldl molecules gets oxidized which can happen due to inflammation which can happen due to hyperinsulinemia and due to excess of refined carbohydrates in the diet so these oxidized ldls are not taken back by the liver because the liver then stops identifying these ldl molecules so that is why the there is a build up of ldl Uh, in wherever there is inflammation in the body or wherever there is inflammation in the arteries of the body and this gives the wrong impression that ldl causes heart disease that ldl causes plaque formation so once again let's have a look at how lipid transportation is done in the body if you see at the left hand of the picture the liver manufactures the vldl which contains triglycerides and cholesterol which delivers this lipids that is triglycerides and cholesterol as needed by the muscle and other tissues and becomes an ldl this ldl after delivering its lipid to the tissues as needed is taken back to the liver if it is normal in its morphology but for some reason if this ldl gets oxidized or it becomes a small dense ldl which is again due to inflammation that is when atherosclerosis starts that is when heart disease starts which you can see on the left bottom corner so what happens is it is the inflammation which causes intimal damage in the coronary artery and this damage allows the small dense ldl to penetrate the intima so that is the real cause of heart disease ldl actually was trying to repair the damage it is not causing the damage just as you would not associate the firefighters in a scene of fight as the cause of the fire here also the ldl were the firefighters they were trying to repair the fire over here and so they accumulated here but when we see it under the microscope we find a lot of ldl particles there and we blame the ldl for causing heart disease which is not true what is true the real cause of heart disease is the inflammation and this inflammation comes from hyperinsulinemia and consumption of sugar and excess of refined carbohydrates so what about hdl that is high density lipoprotein high density lipoprotein belongs to a separate group of lipoproteins which actually is believed to be a good lipoprotein and why is it believed to be good it is because it not only delivers cholesterol to the tissues and cells as needed it also collects the cholesterol from the tissues and takes it back to the liver and in the process it also protects the ldl from oxidation and some of the oxidized ldl it absorbs the hdl carries back the ldl from the periphery to back to the liver so that is why it is believed that it is a good cholesterol so that is how lipid transportation is done in the body it is a very elegant system it is a very sophisticated system which has evolved over millions of years it there is nothing wrong with the system what is wrong is the way we deal with the system this millions of years of evolution has not given us permission to eat ultra processed food and that is what we are doing today and that is what causes inflammation that is what oxidizes the ldl and that is what accumulates 
and that is what causes the heart disease so this is the real cause of heart disease not the ldl per se but the inflammation which comes from hyperinsulinemia and which comes from eating ultra processed food so this was just an introduction about cholesterol and the lipid transportation system more about it in the next episode i will tell you what to see in a blood report in your lipid profile and the various ratios so stay with me and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel share this information with your friends and i'll catch up with you next time